When writing Hebrew, there are a few things that we should keep in mind. The first being that we will be writing from right to left and not the other way around. Normally in English, we're used to going from left to right. So left-handers, you can rejoice that you finally will be able to have a language to write that won't smudge as soon as you write it. And when we're writing these Hebrew words, it would be helpful, I think, to use lined paper. So allow me to uh, get a little bit of that going right now. The reason we're gonna wanna use lined paper is to help make sure that we have room for all of our consonants in the various forms that they appear and all of the vowel marks or the nikud that we will have uh, to deal with. I recommend when you're writing to fill up about half the space. So here I'll write the letter Aleph. So you notice it takes up about half the space of the line. This is so that we can add any vowels or other markings that we need. And with that, a vowel will go underneath the consonant it is modifying, or sometimes above, or sometimes next to it. And so an example of one that goes below is our comets or our comets hatuf, depending. And so it would go below the line just like that. If we were writing a holum, it would go above and sort of a little bit to the side, like that. If it was a shurek, for example, we would have that vowel-carrying letter next to it. You'll learn about that in a little bit plus the vowel. So there's the three places that vowels can be on any given word. Let's take a look at what this will look like in a given writing of Hebrew. Here we have a simple phrase, Amar HaMelech, the king said. And so you notice how I wrote each consonant and then its vowel immediately afterwards. I didn't write all the consonants and then fill in the vowels, but rather just boop, 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 boop. This will help you to make sure you're getting the right syllable structure and also that you don't forget anything. And so I did the same thing over here. Now notice here with this final cough, as you'll learn about when we get to the alphabet, that it goes below the line a little bit. This will help to keep it distinguished from other letters that look similarly, from the Dalet and from the Reish. And so make sure you're going uh, below the line with that. Now, if we had text up here that had those same letters, you notice that there's enough space above them that they won't cramp into that, that you give adequate space for the vowels on the line above and for the letters that come down below the line. And so this is how you're going to want to learn to write Hebrew. Consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant, you know, just going back and forth, that sort of uh, a way of doing things, and making sure then at the end that you have everything that you need uh, within that line.